You know, after last week's show, some of the videos got so many views, and the one people started requesting more and more, and I was shocked, was, can you please do a video of just Jim singing the theme to Underdog? This took off. Well, I I know, and and I'm just, I'm amazed. I thought everybody knew all the words to the Underdog theme song. Don't they? Well, you didn't. Well, I, that was the that was the second verse. To be quite honest, I messed up the last line of the second verse. Otherwise, I got through the whole thing. But still, it depends it, on your age, I think, and what you grew up watching. I don't know the theme to Underdog. What? I don't. It was never on TV. You don't know the theme to the to the Underdog themes. You don't know the words to the Underdog theme. Is what I'm trying to say. You are not a fan of the Underdog show. You did not. In your in your heart of hearts, when you were four years old, want to own Sweet Polly Purebred? When I was four years old, I don't think Underdog was on TV up here in the Northeast. Well, okay, all right, I forgot. You're geographically challenged because they don't like fun stuff up in the Northeast. What? We had great cartoons each and every week. Oh, for heaven's sake. Find me a great cartoon now, except if it's a cartoon from, from the, the 60s. Find you a great cartoon now? There are plenty of good cartoons now. And I don't mean an animated series like Family Guy or The Simpsons. I'm talking about a straight, a flat cartoon like Underdog. Or, as, as a matter of fact, here's the thing that people underestimate about 60s television. It's sure the writing sometimes sucked because it was, you know, it was the same five or six writers <laughs> probably doing everything on television back in those days. But you had to have talent. You had to have talent to actually be on TV. The classic characterizations. A fucking Cramden and Norton, Gleason and Carney, or fucking uh, 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 Lucy and, and Ethel, uh, Lucille Ball and, and, and Vivian Vance. All of the great teams and the characterizations, and because the, the performers, they had faces then, Brian. Well, <laughs> there's, there's amazing television shows now, but it's a little different because people want to be on TV. Back then, poor Fred Gwynn. <laughs> he was like, I'm a serious actor. I'm trained. And they said, here, put on this Frankenstein makeup. You're going to be on the monsters. <laughs> well, and, 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 but, and, and you had, you know, you had great character actors doing fucking uh, guest roles and bit parts and everything. But anyway, back, but I'm, I'm glad that everybody enjoyed my musical stylings of, uh, of underdog last week. But I was just amazed that that's, that's like, it, 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 60s TV, those theme songs were played in 70s TV to some extent with me, uh, were played and ingrained on you from the time that you were cognitive and able to have F Troop. I can do F Troop. Did you know I can do F Troop? Oh, no. Would you like me to do F Troop? <laughs> I kind of think that's where this is going. Uh, all right, let's 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 hear you do the theme to F Troop. <clears throat> The end of the Civil War was near when quite accidentally a hero who sneezed abruptly seized retreat and returned it to victory. His medal of honor pleased and thrilled his proud little family group. While pinning it on, some blood was spilled, and so it was planned he command F Troop. Where Indian fights are colorful sights and nobody takes a lickin'. Where pale face and red skin both turn chicken. When feuding and fighting get them down, you know their morale can't droop. As long as they all relax in town before they resume with a bang and a boom. F Troop! When was the last time a television show had a theme song that went more than five seconds? Oh, but see, that's that's part of the charm and the appeal. What's your what's your favorite opens? What are your favorite theme songs for a television show of all time? Oh my gosh! See now, when you have to pick favorites, um, and actually, do I? And I can't do this one. It doesn't need words either. It could be any theme song. Well, and then you've got Batman, which is so classic. Of uh, that, it, it, it. What theme song was ever so involved with its with its television program? Um, but you've you've got it, the the entire premise of every sixty Gilligan's Island. Um, obviously, all of us can do Gilligan's Island. I won't bore you, but it, the premise of every great sixty sitcom, the Brady Bunch was laid out in its song. 
And it was perfect because that way it, every episode was a standalone episode. And, and you could understand if you'd just come in from a fucking deserted island or you just come out of a coma, you know what the show is about. People who book wrestling should fucking book wrestling like 60s sitcom themes because <laughs> nowadays when people come into the wrestling show, you have to watch it for six months before you have a goddamn clue what the fuck's going on with all these people. One of my grandmother's friends, uh, this is years ago, her son was married to Tina Louise. Oh, okay. Well, I, I thought you were going somewhere with that personal interaction then with Tina Louise. No, she's, she's uh, flat-chested. Oh, for heaven's sake. Just thought I would throw that out there. <laughs> you know what I love? Different Strokes. I think Different Strokes is great. Well. Uh, what's Happening? I like that one, too. Uh, the Jeffersons. We're moving on up. You know, I, I don't know why we're talking about all the African-American shows, but they typically had great theme songs. Good yes. times. Good times. Even time you need a fame. All right. See, we need more of that. We need more Jim Cornette singing with soul. Um, <laughs> as opposed to the whitest theme songs you can sing. I want to hear more soulful Jim Cornette. <laughs> I will uh, next week, but we'll let people send in requests and I'll see what I can do.